added a second ground wire. Um, <clears throat> I've split, the, basically I have a ground here from each controller coming down to a joint, which both go with one wire going back to the batteries. Um, and that goes to each controller separately, but I also just added a link ground wire to ground both controllers with a short, nice, tight, thick ground wire. Um, I also wrapped most of my signal wires going to the second um, subcon with some tin foil tape to try and isolate some noise out of them. I had an encoder fault last dyno run. So what I'm going to do is this thing is super badass. The first time I turned the throttle after getting the second controller running, I had this thing strapped down pretty damn tight, like I normally do, about the same amount of tension, and I twisted the throttle like half throttle and it lit the tire up in the dyno. I had to let off and strap it about four notches tighter. It's just incredible. So I'm going to try a run at like half or three quarters throttle to see if I get any controller or encoder faults doing it that way. <clears throat> That was only like a third to a half throttle. That was amazing. And we're already way more horsepower than we have been. The efficiency is a little bit up because, well, I didn't go full throttle and everything. Um, <clears throat> so we'll call that a successful run. And then I'm going to do a full throttle run right now. Try this. Yeah! Woo! It's running! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Let's see what we got. This is gonna be awesome. So there's our uh, curve. 81 horsepower. Yeah!